Hello, my friends. It's Jennifer from crystallineLight.com. I am here with a crystal tip for you, something really quick and easy that I do all the time and thought I would share with you. So even though I sell crystal water bottles on my website, and they're fantastic bottles and you should order one, I have my own and I love it, but for something that's really quick and easy that you can change all the time so that you have crystal energized water with you to drink... Grab a bottle like this. I found this at either Home Goods or Marshalls. It was maybe 10 or 15 bucks, good quality glass bottle. And it has what they call a fruit insert so that you can put fresh fruit in it to flavor your water. Well, look at that. I have crystals in there. I went through my own collection and grabbed everything quartz that I had, rutilated quartz, clear quartz, smoky quartz, amethyst, Double terminated quartz, Super 7, Amethyst, did I say that? Um, there's a Danburite in there as well. And I made sure everything is a good quality hardness, high quality or high on the Mohs scale, M-O-H-S, of hardness. You don't want anything that's soft or that's going to get damaged in the water or possibly be toxic. Anything quartz related is totally safe. And you can do any combination fill it up. There's a little cover on top that comes off. Stick it in your water. Have it soak for a couple hours, couple days, however much you want. I refill my bottle all day long and keep it soaking in that. And I'm drinking that energy, drinking that water and pulling it into my body. So it is definitely energizing. It is amplifying, clearing, and depending on what stones you put in there, it's going to do different things for you. So put all rose quartz in it and work on your heart chakra and opening your heart and bringing more love into your life. Put all amethyst in there and feel more connected all the time and guided and spiritually connected. So it's totally up to you, but make sure that they're safe to put in water. If you have questions, send me a note or Google Mohs scale of hardness to be sure anything probably a seven or eight or above is safe to put on in water so that's about it and look for more crystal tips coming soon and if you have questions about it just shoot me a note or post on facebook thanks everybody bye